Placing trades in the cryptocurrency market is very easy and there are a lot of unique ways by which you can place trades in this market. And this means that sometimes you analyze your market and you see that the price has not gotten to where you want to buy or the price has passed that particular point or you want the price to come down a little bit before you buy. All these things are things that have been catered for in the cryptocurrency market and that is what I'll be discussing in this video. Hey guys, you're welcome to this channel. I am Arab the Plug, and on this channel, I teach you how to trade the cryptocurrency market, how to trade the forex market, and I talk about personal finance. If you're interested in any of this, ensure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Because in this video, I'll be talking about market orders. How can you enter the market as a trader? How do you place your trade? How do you execute your trade in the cryptocurrency market? In the cryptocurrency market, we have different kinds of orders and we have majorly three kinds of orders. We have the market orders, we have the limit orders, and we have the stop orders. So we can call it stop orders and we can call it stop limit orders. Whatever you call it is fine. So we have market orders, limit orders, and stop orders. So let's talk about these orders one after the other. Market order. Market order simply means that you are buying or selling a cryptocurrency asset at the best available price in the market so which means when you place a market order in the cryptocurrency market the the trade will be placed or executed immediately at the current price available at the time you are placing it so which means that your broker or your exchange is going to place that trade for you at the available time at the current price that is in the market at that moment so, for example, if you want to buy Bitcoin with USDT, you are going to look for BTC USDT pair on your exchange, whether it is Binance or whatever exchange you use, and then you click on buy at the market price, which is, is going to, which means that is you placing a market order. Limit order is an is an order that is placed to either buy below the current price in the market or sell above the current price in the market. Let me explain this. Let's say you want to buy a mobile phone. You, ha you want to buy a mobile phone, and they say the mobile phone cost one thousand dollars. And you have a feeling that this the price of the phone is going to come down to nine hundred ninety dollars. So you can now deposit in the market. You can now go to the market and place a limit order that once this is my nine hundred ninety dollars, so once this is my money, once the price of this phone gets to nine hundred ninety dollars, buy for me and call me so that I can come and collect the phone. I do not want to buy. At 1,000, that is the current price. I want to buy at 990. That's the limit order. So, if you want to buy something, if you want to buy an a crypto asset in the crypto market, you can place a limit order for a price that is lower than the current market price that you want to buy at a lower price. I hope you get that. If you get that, let me know in the comment section. Also, for a sell trade, you can place a limit sell, which means that you want to sell something. But you don't want to sell it at the current at the current market price. You want the price to go a little bit higher. Let's say, for example, you are selling phone, which is an example that is out of the crypto market. You are selling a phone. You are a phone seller, and you bought the phone at one thousand dollars per iPhone X, for example, and you want the price to go up before you sell it. You don't want to sell it at that one thousand. You want the price to go up to one thousand and fifty dollars, so that you can make profit from it. Then you can place a limit order. So it happens in the crypto market too. Let's say the price of Bitcoin is forty two thousand dollars, and you want to place a sell trade or a short trade in the futures market. Then you want the price to go up to forty three thousand dollars before you place your trade. Then you can just go to your trade, your uh, broker or your exchange, and place a limit order down, so that once the price gets to that point, that your limit price, the market is just executed for you automatically without you being there. That is the essence of placing a limit order. So, a limit order is, is an order that you place to buy an asset or a crypto asset at a lower price, which the price has not reached at that particular point. But you want the price to go there, you just place a limit order. So, when the price gets to that point in the market, your broker will execute it for you immediately. That is what we call a limit order. Now, let's talk about the third kind of order we place in the crypto market. If you are getting value from this video, ensure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so let's talk about the stop order that means that 
an order you place for the market to execute for you when it reaches a stop price. Let's explain more. The stop order. When you want the market to get to a point, the market is already moving, whether it is moving up or down. So you place a buy stop. When, let's say the market, the, the current price of Bitcoin is 42k, and you want to buy Bitcoin. But you don't want to buy at that 42k. You want it to go up a little bit before you buy, to like 42.5, for example. You can put a stop order that, okay, this market is going up, and I want it to go up. But I don't want to buy now because maybe you are skeptical about your analysis that it may go down. So when it gets to, when it starts going up to 42.1 or 42.2 or 3, buy for me. It is different from limit order. Limit order is when it go down. But stop order is you are buying, stop buy means you are buying when the price goes up to a reasonable or to a certain point in the market. Same is applicable with a sell stop. If you are placing a sell stop order, it means that you want to sell or you want to short that particular coin. Let's say you want to short Bitcoin at 42k, but you don't want to enter at that particular point. You don't want to enter at that 42k. You want it to start shorting already and have the conviction that it is really going to short before you enter. So you want to start, you want it to start shorting at 42k. Then you enter at maybe 41.9 or 41.8 or 41.7. So that is what a stop order means. A stop order means that a, an order you want to enter when the price has already started moving in your direction. The direction for buy is that it should go up. So once the price leaves that current price in the market and start going up, you just time it that okay, when the price gets to when I move up to this point, buy for me. And for sell trade, you just put it that okay, I want this particular coin to short or to go down. So once it starts going down, once you get to this point starts place the order for me to sell so these orders are orders you place or you place automatically in the market and they will execute once the price reaches that place you want it to be executed so you can just place them and go and sleep and even travel and be rest assured that the market is going to place that for you automatically if you got value from this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one